Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. No, please, um, delight. And congratulations on this latest film, The Accused. Ah, OK, um, thank you. So, you know, I only play a very small part in, in the film. Yeah, too. but it's, uh, you know, what attracted you to the role in this film and mm. how does it feel to have it here as part of the Marrakesh Film Festival? Okay, well, I mean, it was really nice to, to, um, to be invited into this project because it is a project that's made by friends, you know. Um, I, I know very well the, the producers. Uh, actually, they're, we're working on something that we're developing uh, and I've known them for a long time, you know, and and, um, and they're really a great group of guys, you know, like, yeah, they 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 are like new blood of <laughs> of making films, you know, the way that they make films. So, so I was invited into this project, and then um, uh, Gonzalo Tobal, you know, I mean the director, we talked a little bit of what he wanted to do, and I was excited that they wanted me to play like a like a very cheesy journalist and and uh, and. <laughs> Uh, you know, and, and become that fulcrum in the film, you know, and it, it's always fun to to play like a, a very egotistical journalist, you know. <laughs> and how was it working with Lali Esposito and, you know, uh, yeah. you know was it, what was your experience of making the film? Well, I mean, she's, she's so incredibly uh, famous in, in Latin America, you know, and, and uh, she's, a, she's a natural, I mean, she's a... I mean, she's a great actress, I think, because she really, I don't know, she's very young and she's incredibly edgy, you know, and has got a handle on things and she wants to experiment and it's always, I mean, it's fantastic to be with someone that is like that, you know, and uh, she was really nice, really, really nice. And coming to um, Mexican directors, you know, they've been the hottest in the last 10 years, let's say. Mm -hmm. Del Toro, who was also here in Marrakesh, Quaran in Ara too. So why and how do you think the, the film scene in Mexico is so strong? And more broadly, what do you think it is that differentiates Latin American cinema from, from other types? Well, I mean, it is a, it is a broad uh, question and a, a, a long discussion that is quite interesting, really, because, it, because really we're talking about the state of cinema now, nowadays. I mean, when, when we focus on, on why um, yeah, Guillermo, El Negro, and Alfonso are, are having such success, you know, in, the, in their careers and everything, and, um, and and how they end up doing the films they end up doing. Like right now with Roma, I don't know if you've seen Roma. Yeah, I have. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? No, it's crazy good. Especially so, on the big screen. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. I mean, it's a, an amazing movie. So yes, it's. Um, Something happened in the water. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it is a mix of it is a, a mix of a strong cinematic culture because really Mexico. I mean, uh, as long I mean, as, uh, along with many other countries in the world, but um, Mexico has, has a big cinematic history. I mean, it's um, we used to produce like in the 30s, uh, like 200 movies or something a year. You know, so it is. It is a place where, where many films were made and there is a tradition of going to the cinema, you know, and people go a lot to the cinema. There's many, many screens. It's like, I think it's the fourth um, uh, or thir third or fourth uh, uh, audience, uh, how do you say, box office in, in the world, no? So it is a, a film going country and it's growing and growing. There is a, a lot of film discussions and, and stuff. Um, and uh, partly because Films became um, kind of some of the, the the angles and the or the axis of uh, building the country after the Mexican Revolution in, in early in twentieth century. Um, so so all these films we've been we've been seeing since we were born. You know, whatever time you're born, you're always ending up watching these movies. You know, from from those times, and uh, and therefore cinema had always. An interesting kind of angle and an interesting uh, point of platform or point of departure in terms of the cultural discussion in Mexico. So it, nowadays, it doesn't matter where the, where which film comes from, what, what country it comes from. There is a, a dialogue uh, that sparks whenever a film is good. There is something that happens. In um, it affects uh, the cultural discussion, and that is perhaps something that is not 
common now in other countries. I would argue that in the United States it's not so common now that the way that films were relevant when, when we were younger. You know, I mean, when we were younger, when we were kids going to the cinema, there were films that really opened up a discussion or that helped carry along, um, uh, I don't know, uh, a cultural, a cultural um, uh, questioning or, or concern or, you know, uh, like nowadays we can talk about the lack of relevance of cinema in, c in certain parts of the world. Mm -hmm. Uh, but fortunately, still in Latin America, films are relevant um, into the society. And maybe because we have many injustices that we need to address. Uh, but uh, I don't think that's the only reason. I think there's also, we're looking for the answers as well in the tangent of things, which is the cultural experience. Um, it is not through uh, economical or, or Ivy League. Uh, <laughs> students that we will get the answers for about society really it is from those tangents that really the the, the bigger questions are are answered or are, are being um, put forth no so uh, I mean and this is just a little really quick kind of hypothesis on why films are the way they are in Latin America you know the, the relevance they have and why and, and knowing that our participation in those movies is very different. It's, it's very committed. It's a, it can sound a little bit corny, but it is a little bit of an act of faith as well, and, and a, an act of love. Uh, because also, I mean, the difference is that yeah, it's not like you get a living out of them, <laughs> you know, in terms of money and monetary terms, but you're okay, you know? It is a, I don't know, it is fantastic to be able to to have in, in life an opportunity to really do the film you want, because that's the other nice thing about this, is that ultimately um, Alfonso Cuaron did the film he wanted. I, I just recently wrapped uh, my film uh, that I directed, and it is the film I want. Like, I don't have to ask permission for anybody. Like, it's, I decide the final cut of everything, you know, like it is my, and that, that, that is incredibly different from other places. Mm. Um, so we're quite fortunate, but at the same time, it's something that the, the society and many um, film directors have fought, you know, and we have achieved, and we have to kind of defend that and keep on doing it, you know, and keep on experimenting. And that's just going to create a lot of talent, I guess. I mean, yeah, that's what it's going to bring to the table a lot of. Mexican directors, uh, and especially uh, women directors, uh, which are leading the charge now. I mean, the new generation is going to be about women directors, which is quite fascinating as well. You know, in Mexico, definitely. Yeah, like, I, I can already tell you, like, at least 10 female directors that are going to... Mm make it big <laughs> like yeah, they're good they're really interesting what they're doing i think there's two films of, of uh female directors here you know in, in the film from mexico mm. yeah yeah and can you quickly tell me about your next project so you briefly were mentioning you know you've already directed one film this, you're on to your second mm. and what's that going to entail uh well i i directed one when i was 24 25 yeah and it was a very different time, you know? There were no, there was no internet platforms, you know? And we're not talking about a long time ago, even though I'm not so young now. <laughs> but, but, um, but, I mean, this was, yeah, 15, 12, yeah, 15 to 12, 15 years ago. And there was no digital, for example, you know? It was all done in video, like in HD video kind of thing. And, um, so it is, I mean, that's just to, to give an example of how things change so quickly, you know, because at that point we ended up doing a film which could have been an, an interesting, like, mini-series TV exercise, you know, and it would have been the best that it would, would have become a, a mini-series because it would have given me the tools to, to, to play around without so much, um, 
you know, so much expectations, you know. Uh, but then after that, I did a few short films and, and I did a, a few short documentary films, which that was really nice to, 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 to do. And then ended up doing um, a feature documentary, uh, which took forever because documentaries take a long time, you know. And there, uh, we, we talk about an act of love there, we're talking like about an act of pure love, you know, to the documentary because it is something that you keep on going and going and going. And, uh, and yeah, recently I wrapped my, my let's say, second fiction. Uh, and, um, well, not, not, not only wrapped, but uh, wrapped the post-production, like, did the, like we, we have it finished now. So uh, I'm waiting to see, yeah, next year. It'll hopefully come out. And then just really finally, you've had such a range of roles in your career, and it feels like those that are provocative and political are really mm. important to you. So. How do you see the evolution of your career and how important the role of cinema is in raising issues about things? Mm. Well, I mean, um, going back on a little bit what we talked about before, maybe that is the reason why also films are quite, quite relevant because um, whatever film you do, whatever point of view you do in, 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 a, in a story set in Latin America, for example, they would, it would always have a a very strong political complexity and um, an inherent political complexity. Uh, maybe because politics is very much on the surface in, in, in Latin America, as opposed to other places where, I don't know, maybe structurally or just um, narratively, it's very separated from everyday life. You know? But in Latin America, it is part of everyday life. You know? we're, yeah, with that, say we're very political. and. Um, and it has to do with our recent history, I mean, and, um, and recent injustices and recent um, uh, concerns about <laughs> the way things are going, not only in our countries, but worldwide now, you know. So it is it's important to, to uh, go ahead and, and manifest uh, our point of view and, and to question that uh, via cinema, which is perhaps one of the most freeing mediums there is. So, uh, so it is. I, I really have to to have that kind of uh, strange sociological approach towards a project, even if I'm acting or producing or directing. I have to engage myself into that project through all these kind of uh, angles, um, and uh, I cannot do it any other way. Really, like I, I feel, even if I'm just you know, in a project, let's say, in a carnavalesque project, you know, like even Mozart in the Jungle, that, that TV project, for example, I had to have that kind of sociological angle also, like I couldn't escape from it. Um, it's a nice thing not to escape from that, uh, but it is the way that I, yeah, it's, it's like saying, uh, I don't know, like saying, uh, I like the couscous because of the sauce that comes with the couscous, not really because of the couscous or the thing itself. It's more about the, the you know, the, the, that other thing that you... <laughs> I'm sorry to make a, a quick kind of simile with, with Moroccan food, but, uh, but I think, yeah, it's, it's that thing that I cannot escape from that. And, um, and I think I'm going to keep on doing stuff like that, I, I hope. All right, fantastic. It was really great to meet you. Thanks yeah, so much thank for sharing you. all that no, with us. No, thank you.